Spurge here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're going to break down the new Alpine Stars Venture XT jacket and pants available at Revzilla.com. So, this was an outfit that I was extremely excited to see from Alpine Stars. I am a longtime user of the Venture R. The Venture R is a really unique piece within their line. It's kind of a, a dual sport-esque jacket and pant combo. I use it over top of my knee braces and my armor rig to get into a little bit of the cold weather dual sport and off-road adventure segment of riding that I like to do. Really what you're gonna see here is something that pushes the boundary a little bit further into that off-road adventure slash dual sport light dual sport riding uh, with more functionality, pockets, vents baked into it. Now, the other thing you're going to get here is you're going to get armor included. So you're going to have elbow and uh, shoulder armor included. You're going to have knee armor included. The downside to this is that the Venture XT doesn't quite fit over top of armor rigs and knee braces as well as the Venture R. So it's a bit of a unique positioning from Alpine Stars, and that's what I'm gonna get into as we walk through this video and discuss it. Like I said, the Venture R is something that would be, you know, probably a step down from this because it's not gonna have any of that armor included. Around $220 for the Venture R jacket, whereas this jacket's coming in around the $270 price point. You could then bump up into something like the Andes or the Yugara if you're getting into more adventure and adventure touring. But really for those of you out there that are spending most of your time doing dual sport riding, or if you, you know, are looking for an outfit that you can use to take your adventure bike for the off-road stuff that you like to do, this is definitely one to consider. Um, but also, you know, kind of comparing this against the Venture R is what I want to kind of just talk about as we walk through this. So from a side Sizing standpoint, uh, sizes will range from a small up to a 4XL for the jacket as well as for the pants. Mr. McHugh on my left hand side is wearing a large in both. Uh, he stands at 200, I mean, you don't stand at 220 pounds, weighs in at 220 pounds, uh, stands about six feet tall and has a 44 inch chest. So you can see how that correlates with Alpine size chart. Now the one note here is if you are like myself, a Venture R user, the Venture R pants are numeric, whereas these are gonna be an alphanumeric. So it's not the exact same correlation on the sizing, and that's something that Alpine Stars does that really frustrates me. I would love to see them keep the sizing consistent, especially in a line that shares the same name. So from a pricing standpoint, like I said, the jacket comes in around $270. The pants are coming in around $220. We do have that price matched guarantee. So you can always make sure to reach out to us to guarantee the lowest price. Um, but as we talk through this, the main construction is gonna be 500D poly. The, the little bit of a difference here is that there is gonna be an H2O resistant coating on this. So a little bit of waterproof protection, not something that we would ever say is waterproof, but you do get a little bit of a light resistance there from the elements. You are gonna have a waterproof pocket over on the chest that is gonna be a bag lined water resistant YKK zip. So that is where you can use to stash your cell phone neoprene up at the collar, a little bit more comfortable. And then as you work your way down, you're gonna see there are gonna be some changes between the XT and the R version. On the R version, the sleeves could be completely zipped off. Again, really aiming more for those of you wearing the R over top of a standalone armored rig. This is going to have your built-in protection. So the armor using this is a CE level one Nucleon Flex Plus in the shoulders, the elbows, as well as the knee. You can see right here, this is gonna be that really soft, supple armor from Alpine Stars, really flexible and comfortable, but still giving you that CE level one protection, but nice and thin, so not overly bulky. As we work our way down the arm, you're gonna have a full two-way zip on this, so you can get you know, venting, or you can use it in the other direction as well, if you want a little bit more room down at the bottom. But again, does not go all the way down to the cuff, so it's a Velcro at the cuff and then just a two-way zip that you can use in either direction with an extra forearm uh, clasp to just kind of ratchet this down. Make sure that your elbow armor stays in place. But again, something that as you get down into the, uh, the forearm and the elbow as well, much more narrow than what we're seeing with the Venture R, so just keep that in mind. Not necessarily gonna fit as easily over an armor rig as you work your way down the arm. On the front of this, you're gonna see YKK zips, dual top loading pockets, not necessarily a hand warmer pocket, but you do have some stash pockets there. There is a little bit of a, of a change with the way that the zip works on this as well. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Pat, go ahead and strike the riding position for me. As you see down the outside, this is something 
that we've seen carried over from the Venture R. Just a little bit of a, of a extra reinforcement at the elbow. What I like about this is if you are riding in tighter conditions, it doesn't catch on underbrush and debris. It kind of slides right over it. And then you are going to have a, uh, a little uh, rabbit pouch at the back, not an expansion gusset. This is just where you can store a few extra items if you are looking for rabbit pouch style storage, maybe a mid-layer. And then you are going to have a cinch cord on the bottom of the jacket itself to cinch down around your waist. If you go face backwards for me, just small exhaust vents. Again, more venting on this than what you would see on the Venture R. Um, just a, a different slight approach to how they're doing this where the Venture R, again, you can zip off those pockets. This is incorporating a little bit more of that traditional jacket style. You are gonna have pockets for a back protector as well as a chest protector with this. So again, really the idea that I'm seeing kind of play out here is that you would build your armor into the jacket, not necessarily wearing a standalone rig. So it's gonna be kind of walking the line between traditionally what I would wear for dual sport or off-road and what I would wear for you know adventure street riding. So it's kind of walking this in-between line. BQ, go ahead and face forward for me and unzip. So zip back up first with the vent. So you can see this is something that is new for the Venture XT. Um, it just gives you a little bit more room in the chest, but it also gives you this wide one inch panel, one and a half inch panel all the way down for increased venting. So if you are riding this in warmer conditions, you start to overheat, you can unzip the jacket and then re-zip it, which gives you this large mesh panel directly down the chest. You can go ahead and unzip for me, my friend. Very basic interior with this. You're gonna see comfort lining. If you're wearing a base layer or a t-shirt, it's gonna be just fine. Few extra stash pockets, but really this is going to be a very similar interior to what we've seen with the uh, the Venture R line. Now, just taking a look down the pants, a little bit of stretch incorporated around the crotch. You are getting pockets with the pants. You're going to have top loading pockets up top, and then you're going to have also little cargo style pockets on the side. There are going to be vents which are hidden directly above the knee. I'm just going to kind of flip this up. I'm not even going to bother opening the vents, Mr. McHugh, but you can see there are going to be extra little zippers down here for extra venting on the top of the thigh, and then that CE level one nucleon down there. Now, the one thing that I really like about these pants is that they've incorporated pockets. The biggest problem that I have with the Venture R is they had slash vents, vents worked really well, but I like to have at least one cargo pocket to hold my cell phone, my wallet on my pants. It's just the way that I like to have my gear stored. And the Venture R pants didn't have any pockets. I like the fact that they incorporated pockets with this, what I don't like is that these pants do fit a bit narrower and they're really not easy to use with knee braces. Um, Mr. McHugh is wearing the over the boot version, a little bit more room in the knee. Um, you can possibly get these over a knee brace, but the in the boot version of the pants, which I typically wear, I like in the boot off-road riding pants, they're very narrow. They have almost a yoga pant type fit to them, very slim, and they do not really take knee braces. So that's something that you need to consider if you are a rider, McHugh, you can go ahead and zip up for me. If you're a rider that wears knee braces, probably not gonna be the best option. If you are not a knee brace user, maybe you're just a dual axis knee guard type individual, or you just wanna wear the knee armor that's already included, you should be fine. In the boots just hold that knee armor a little bit tighter than knee. But again, if you're like myself and you like to wear a pair of knee braces, um, I, I'm not really stoked with the direction that the Venture XTs took from a fitment standpoint compared to the Venture Rs. The Venture Rs take knee braces very, very well, especially if you're a larger rider like myself. I've got larger thighs, and you know, for me, having a pair of pants that fit over the knee braces is sometimes a challenge. So I always liked the Venture R for that. Like I said, it was really become a staple in my, uh, in my personal riding gear. To be able to see the Venture XT come to fruition, there were a lot of things I was excited about as far as you know, furthering the pockets, the storage. However, there's a few things where they wouldn't work for me from a knee brace standpoint and for the kind of riding I like to do. So again, where I see these fitting in is this is something that's not necessarily a, a next step for the Venture R as much as it's another unique little piece in Alpine Star's line to split the difference between what dual sport riders are really looking for and what adventure riders are looking for. If you want more info from what other riders are saying, click the little information button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other riders reviews, you can browse the product page, and if you're still not sure as to which outfit is right for you and your individual style, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at 
and they can walk you through all the different aspects of adventure riding gear, of dual sport riding gear, and make sure that you find the right setup for your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us today for this quick look at the Alpine Stars Venture XT jacket and pants. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.